Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections, and today's scintillating topic is the appropriate sized circuit breaker on an air conditioner circuit. So why am I doing a video and a blog post on this super boring topic? Because I was asked to. There's, there's a fair amount of confusion about this, I think mostly amongst home inspectors, because our standard rules for comparing circuit breaker sizes to wire sizes do not apply when it comes to an air conditioner. For an air conditioner, it's super simple. You, you can forget all the stuff that you've memorized, all the charts and all this different stuff for sizing and ampacity. All you need to do is look at the data plate on the air conditioner compressor unit. On that data plate, it's going to tell you the minimum ampacity of the wires going into the unit. There you can turn to your chart. Just make sure that whatever the wires are that come into the air conditioner match this number. For this example, we've got a, it, it says the minimum is 34 amps. If I turn to my standard sizing chart, it means that I need to have wires at least eight gauge going to the air conditioner. And then the other number on there is the maximum fuse or circuit breaker size, also known as the overcurrent protection device. And that's all I need to look at when I'm inside the main panel. In this particular case, it says maximum of 60 amps. When I look at the panel, I'm gonna to wanna to make sure it's no larger than 60 amps. Of course, the minimum is gonna be the minimum circuit ampacity. It says a minimum of 34 amps. You're not gonna find a 34 amp circuit breaker. So I'd expect to find something between 40 amps and 60 amps. And I know that that's, 60 amps is larger than what you would typically have for an eight gauge wire, but in the case of an air conditioner, this is okay. All we need to do is follow the information on that data plate and we're good. Shortest video ever. Thank you for watching.